such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho! <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Uh, Get off me, bro! Uh, uh, Warren, stop uh, it! Come on! Oh, oh, my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you! You're all dead! Let's go, now! Plus? My dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you! Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Get off me! Please! Please stop! He's down! Hey, come on! Stop. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, we have to go. Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But scary. Shit, man. This really hurts. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. 
He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Yes, the chance for gunplay would just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. The forest seemed quiet, no sign of life or deer. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. This is where my nightmare started. How can all of this not be connected to a major storm? It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. How can all of this not be connected to a major storm? Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. Behold, Frank's beer garden. Take the trash out sometime, dude. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. Chloe looks ready to rumble. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? 
I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No. You don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I... I... Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Whoa! Get off of me! Motherfucker! <laughs> Max! Rewind! Now! Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text... Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell... Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me! We were all freaked out, now we're all cool. Please? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, 
he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. <laughs> 